And where, where were these, uh, where were these correspondents? Were they donating some emails? Hi. Morning. 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 There's a doctor for the opportunity inside. Okay. I guess you could ask. ready to start the second working day of this uh, uh, informal meeting of the EU's uh, foreign ministers. Uh, as we had yesterday, we, uh, we are also going to have today a very uh, tight uh, schedule, a very full agenda. Uh, we are going to be uh, discussing the uh, working methods of, uh, of this format. Uh, uh, this discussion is aimed at uh, uh, improving our ability to come to common positions uh, among the EU member states uh, regarding all international uh, issues of the day, uh, including in, uh, in uh, various international organizations such as the United Nations. Then we will be uh, holding a joint session uh, with the uh, ministers from the EU candidate countries. This discussion will focus on preventing radicalization, fighting uh, radical extremism, uh, which is an, a, a very hot topic, uh, if you wish, uh, both for the member states as well as for the candidate countries. Uh, we will not directly be discussing the enlargement-related issues, but obviously uh, the uh, topic we are discussing today has a uh, high degree of relevance also for the, for the uh, enlargement-related agenda. And then, uh, finally, there will be a a lunch session uh, after the conclusion of the official program of this informal meeting, uh, together with the ministers from the uh, Eastern Partnership countries, uh, which will focus on uh, the uh, resilience, uh, building resilience of the state structures as well as societies of those countries. And it's one of the uh, preparatory events uh, for the uh, uh, November summit uh, of the EU and, and Eastern Partners, um, where we will hope to um, uh, make uh, significant headway with regard to implementation of the uh, deep and comprehensive free trade agreements and, and association agreements with uh, three out of the six Eastern Partnership countries, and also adopt a declaration that would very clearly 
um, define the path forward with regard to this very important, uh, very important uh, instrument that the EU has at its disposal for uh, furthering the cooperation with those six, uh, six uh, important partners. Thank you very much. It was a very good meeting yesterday, and yeah, and I think it's very interesting to talk with the Eastern partners today. There is a lot of going on in the neighborhood in West Balkans, and it's very good that uh, we have this regular basis meeting to share views, and, and then we shall talk about the working methods, how to be more efficient, and that discussion really comes in need. Okay, thanks. Yes, but we'll try to, to discuss about our work method. It's quite interesting to see how it's possible, like yesterday, to have an efficient uh, discussion on uh, North Korea or the Middle East peace process with more interaction among the different participants. And uh, I want to say that yesterday it was very interesting to have such an unanimity about North Korea and to be able to put more pressure on such a country, but also to stay open to take part in a possible dialogue. And today we will continue with a discussion with our uh, candidate countries. I'm sure it's very important also to see what are the different situations. Of course, uh, we have a real problem for the moment with Turkey. You know that the situation there is very difficult. And to, to my mind, it's frozen for the moment. It's impossible to go further, except uh, in some negotiations about migration or uh, about the uh, foreign fighters and the terrorist activities. But uh, for the accession process, it's impossible to go further. So we have a frozen mechanism. And we will see what kind of uh, consequences possible on that, because uh, we don't have the capacity now to continue the discussion with Turkey uh, in such a, a difficult situation about the human rights and about the freedom of speech, freedom of press in, in the country since uh, July uh, last year. Thanks.
for Turkey for today? Well, this is a good opportunity, of course, for us to, uh, to discuss with, uh, with the Turkey about uh, what happens uh, in that country and also our uh, relations. So it would be a chance to also listen to them and see uh, here how we see the situation. We are, of course, very critical. We have uh, um, several citizens that are now being detained, including one in, in Spain using Interpol. We are very, very critical about that. We don't want it to go to be used for political purposes. Mm -hmm. So that would also be a, a chance of us to raise uh, those issues and the media situation for media freedom in, in, in Turkey. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. and obviously speak about the issues that are on the agenda, but also to, to address other things. Um, that's, the, that's the good thing about informal meetings. Do you have any particular message to Turkey when you meet uh, with the accession countries today? Well, not a, no uh, particular message, but I'd like, I, I think it's, it's important for the European Union to remain uh, uh, close to Turkey uh, and to keep a dialogue open, um, uh, and also to maintain prospect in the future of uh, Tur Tur Turkish succession. Um, but obviously things have changed a lot uh, in Turkey uh, in, the last, in the last 12 months or so and we shouldn't uh, pretend they haven't. Uh, but that doesn't mean that, uh, that we shouldn't be continuing to reach out um, uh, and to, uh, to seek to develop a better relationship. Okay. Thank you.
First of all, it, the, the situation is obviously very seriously on the islands. In my own country, has uh, part of the uh, the Netherlands territories are in the Caribbean. Uh, so there is now an operation going on to help the people in Saint Martin. As you know, Saint Martin is uh, an island is partly Dutch uh, and partly French, uh, and uh, there's an enormous amount of devastation. So we work very closely with uh, the United Kingdom, but also with France, uh, to help the people on the island. Thank you very much. Va a haber luz a mañana. Sí, sí. Sobre Cataluña, rápidamente. Eh, una vez que el institucional ha tomado la, la ley que ha sido aprobada, ¿hay temor por algún tipo de enfrentamiento el día en el que ha sido convocado? Yo espero que no, yo espero que no, que todos somos personas civilizadas y decentes en España. ¿Eh? Gracias. Today. Yeah, actually, I do, since we are going to meet the um, um, partners of ours in the framework of the Eastern Partnership, and uh, I'll have some, um, let's say, heavy words on the situation in uh, Ukraine. Uh, since uh, we have 150,000 uh, Hungarians living there, and the Ukrainian parliament has uh, passed a law which um, violates uh, the um, rights of the minorities, uh, including the Hungarians takes away many rights uh, from the uh, minorities uh, regarding education. Actually, they took away the right uh, from the uh, minorities to study on their uh, native uh, language uh, in the high schools and, um, and in the higher education. And that is totally unacceptable. That goes totally into the opposite direction where uh, Europe should be heading. And a country like Ukraine, which has the intention to come closer to the European Union, passes such kind of a law, this is absolutely unacceptable. So uh, I'll have a couple uh, words on that for sure. Will we have any words uh, to the Turkish uh, representative? 
as well uh, regarding Turkey's succession or whether it should or should not be? Uh, well, actually, uh, you know, uh, Turkey um, is, a, is a country with a um, rapidly strengthening economy. They have a clear intention to uh, be among the top 10 uh, economies of the world. So I think it's, uh, it's a core interest of the European Union to be able to put together some uh, strategic type of uh, partnership um, uh, with Turkey, not to forget about the fact that uh, um, the EU-Turkey deal has been still uh, working and working out. So um, I think it's, it's extremely important to keep this um, uh, predictable uh, relationship with uh, Turkey based on the mutual respect towards each other. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Today will be a good day. <laughs>